So I am about to get discharged, but I have to have this antibiotics, but I can't afford it. It's going to cost me over $400. She asked if I had a credit card. This is crazy. I mean, to me, it's, it's, it's asinine. entire economy would, in a trade deal, all things that are traded would be on the table. Which includes health care. I would think so. I think everything with a trade deal is on the table. When, you, when you're dealing in trade, everything's on the table. So NHS or anything else. I didn't have $400 out of my pocket to pay for a medication that got put through an IV into me over 10 days. I don't have that. You know, for something like that, that to me is unconscionable. I'm not being hyperbolic. People will die because they can't afford it. That's how serious it is. So my daughter, Shalyn, was 22 years old. She was in school to become an RN. In 2015, Shalyn decided to move to Las Vegas in order to complete her schooling. When she arrived, she had a red, swollen leg. She went to the ER eventually. She was asked immediately, do you have insurance? This sealed Shalin's fate when she replied, no. She was begging for testing to see what was wrong with her leg. My daughter did not know she had a blood clot. My daughter died because in America, our healthcare is driven by profit motive, the greed, of CEOs, if we had had universal health care, my daughter would be alive. So three and a half weeks ago, my sister, Michelle, she had recently had her 45th birthday. Um, she killed herself. She had type one diabetes and rheumatoid arthritis. She had to spend hours and hours on the phone with insurance companies who had to um, appeal decisions if they decided that they weren't going to um, approve something. I don't know what could have saved my sister's life. In the past year, she spent more and more time frustrated because of the problems that she had with insurance delaying coverage of medications. I know that the stress of having this painful condition of rheumatoid arthritis and having all the fluctuations she was having with her type 1 diabetes, I know that the stress of that pain and, and the hopelessness that she had um, was not helped by our system and it may have made the difference between her choosing to take her own life or not. My family has actually been devastated by the private insurance companies. Uh, my uncle had pancreatic cancer and was denied coverage because he didn't have health insurance. And me, I have a $10,000 deductible. So I can't get sick. I can't do anything but go to the primary care doctor and get a physical. Um, anything else, I would... Uh, be, be fucked. I would not not be okay, and it would be a disaster. So the only reason that I had health care at one time was because my husband had a job. He worked at a, at a local college, and he got health care through his employment. When his union went up to negotiate a new contract, uh, they were unhappy with the deal that the administration was offering, and so they were having meetings and perhaps discussing whether there would be some kind of job action or a strike. Um, the administration sort of took an offensive uh, step and locked them out um, so they couldn't come back on campus, couldn't teach their classes, and the administration also threatened to cut off their health care. What that meant was that people had to give in or they felt they, had, they felt they had no choice. People were worried about rationing their, their medication, people with children were worried about how they were going to care for their families. So people that would normally be ready for a fight to you know battle together for a better contract than their employer couldn't. They gotta protect what they got. They have a precious thing. And across the pond, we're dying. 
you never plan on coming down with a disease or a chronic condition. No one plans for that. Um, but it can happen. And in our system, people go bankrupt. People have to choose between paying for rent and groceries or paying for medication. You all have the best health care in the world. I'm very jealous. We want it. And it would be really sad for you to sell it off to the highest bidder. You can take examples from us here in the United States. Do not become lulled in a false sense of security. If they're even beginning the talks of changing your health care system, now is the time to rise up. Everything's on the table. So NHS or anything else, or a lot, a lot more than that. But everything will be on the table, absolutely. Because we've allowed in this country greed to reign, this is what's happening to us. Do not let that happen in the UK. Don't let him get his grubby little hands on your national health care system. Because if he does, he'll do exactly what he did to this nation. Mess it up.